Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. I'm Exterminator, and as always, I'm joined by Madzuri. Greetings. And uh, today we're going over something pretty crazy. Uh, this rocket launching build was submitted by uh, Saltamonte, which I believe uh, we actually covered one of their builds uh, fairly recently. Um, but this is just, this, this whole build includes rocket silos, um, the production for all the parts, um, essentially a full blue belt worth of each which is pretty insane. And then uh, tons of smarts um, to, I'm gonna move away from that, it's really loud. Uh, tons of smarts to allow this to launch things like in sequence and for you to easily be able to add and take away like certain items you wanna send or not. And uh, I guess we can start down here and kind of go over the a little bit of the smarts. We're not gonna explain all this because it would take a really long time um, and it's quite complicated. However, I will that they provided a uh, paste bin sheet with like tons of instructions if you want to read through that or figure it out yourself. But I'll let, I'll let you take over Zuri, kind of just explain the parts that we want to uh, talk about here. Sure thing. If I remember correctly, the one on the left is the infinite uh, repeating, and the one on the right is the. Uh, count of each you want to launch so you want to launch 10 cars 110 satellites and infinite fishes right <laughs> so you can add some more up here um you see these middle combinators will say a b c that covered to s you can change those from you know signal a to whatever you want to launch or b or c and these are the inputs, either by belt or by requester chest. Either way works. Yep. Which is really nice. And then you have to remember to switch the inserter over. So that, you know, instead of signal A, it's signal whatever you're moving to launch into, into orbit. Right. So um, there's room for three more here. And then they do provide instructions. Which again, I won't go over because it would be very difficult to explain verbally and take a long time. But they do provide instructions to add even more beyond the six um, that you can set up here total. Uh, so, uh, quick other note regarding these: uh, they also said in their instructions that like um, this automatically resets itself if you change something. So if you want like say uh, only fifth, like say 130 satellites sent, if you just update this to 130, it'll like update the whole system or if you just get rid of one of these it will recognize that and then take that into account um and then you can just turn them on and off however they said that's not actually necessary um like we could have just removed fish and that would work from this combinator and then put it back or change it or whatever so i'm um, very flexible uh in that regard and we've been watching this and it seems to just kind of launch them uh in sequence or um, I don't really actually see an order with the cars and satellites necessarily. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that at all. <laughs> no worries. So, but when it was launching fish, it would kind of go like one, two, three, and then four down the line, launching the fish. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so on to the production. Uh, this is pretty ridiculous. These builds are, like I said, fully compressed um, output. Uh, the low densities, uh, rocket control units, and rocket fuel. And uh, overall, Zuri and I have been looking, and uh, I mean, your your uh, your thoughts are that these are these are pretty darn good. Yeah, very very well constructed and thought out and calculated out. The fully speed beacon and productivity modules as much as they can go. I, I th still think it's silly you're building. Uh, speed modules with speed modules and speed modules <laughs> i know that seems a little bit ridiculous um that's obviously not a flaw of the build necessarily but the fact that you can't productivity modules um yeah also the it's interesting to note is the local plastic production uh there's pros and cons to that some of it being it's easier to ship the coal than it is the plastic but the downside is you have to either ship in the petroleum gas or you got to have a really massive refinery right here to supply enough gas for this thing yeah and it needs a lot of gas this um consumes about uh 70, petroleum a minute on that plastic because there's nothing else running in the base currently uh and then the rocket fuel uh the 
uh, salt fuel is brought in rather than made locally, which is fine, because actually having this much uh, uh, salt fuel made here would make this pretty absurdly large. Or larger than it already is. Yeah, balancing a good solid fuel build is difficult. I believe I've done it before. Yeah, it can be done, but it's, it gets really tricky. Uh, but yeah, all productivity modules, everything that can be, like Jerry said, 8 8 beacons, fully compressed blue belts out, which is pretty, like, really impressive because these are actually fully compressed, no gaps or anything. And uh, you were noticing, Zuri, on the production, it's over 300 rocket parts a minute, which equates to a little over three rockets a minute that this can launch. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, and then power this build by itself takes 1.6 gigawatts um because again there's nothing else on in the base so this this is definitely like a pretty uh pretty crazy like mega base scale but if you're into that if you're looking for something like that then this is a uh, overall really really good build that's just kind of all put together for you yeah that seems like a lot to you it's actually very efficient power wise and space wise uh using the 8 8 beacon build mm -hmm. that is very true like, this would be massive huge and probably eat a lot more power if you didn't have the speed beacons in here. Yeah, I, I can't even... <laughs> without the speed beacons, I cannot even imagine the actual size of this. Because it, 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 it just makes a massive difference. But uh, but I think that covers it. Um, you know, pretty standard inputs and all that. Like I said, uh, the blueprint will be provided. And then also the instruction sheet, which includes the blueprints. Um in case you want to mess around with stuff but overall really really good build i'm not sure how many people build on this scale but if you are then uh, definitely worth checking out indeed if not for anything else then check out the neat circuitry over here yeah there's some really really interesting circuitry going on most of which i don't understand but uh it works uh and one last note of uh, importance is that they did say like aside from those constant combinators and then the adding the items that unless you like really know how the system works you shouldn't mess with anything because like removing one wire or changing one setting will just like wreck the entire system so uh, yeah most systems like this are like that actually yeah but it, it can just get really complicated so and then lastly it does have an alarm over here which you can turn on and off um, like, if there's nothing to launch, this alarm will start going off, um, but you can easily toggle it with this combinator. And I believe that covers it. you have anything else to add? No, that's about it. All right. That'll do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, check out the description for the links I mentioned. And until next time, we will see you later. Later.